Foxtrot, Charlie Golf, Alpha, RB14 at the CH28, looking for taxi. We have information Alpha. We're heading to Pontiac, Michigan on a VFR flight plan. This is the first mission in the airplane that I filmed the process of building over the past two years. This is the uh, first cross-border flight in this, uh, this guy? That's affirmative. Awesome. Got it done within like 12 hours to spare. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I've been following along and really cool to see. Right on, man. The whole community has been very supportive. It's been good times. Yeah, I wish I could head out there too for uh, the event, but I uh, don't think that's happening. We just landed at AirVenture to a precisely uh, zero fanfare. <laughs> so I have never been to AirVenture this early before. This is several days before the event starts. The carnival is coming together. We had to fly in even before the NOTAM was active to get the airplane to the Garmin booth. contact Detroit now on 134.3 and you can ask them for higher altitude if you'd like and uh, hope you have an amazing week out there. Thank you. Sorry, off out. Having not crossed the border in almost two years, I was a little bit stressed about how customs was going to go and I bounced this landing. Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Golf Alpha. Yeah, turn right there, you'll see a blue circle in front of the glass building. Just put your nose wheel, well, <laughs> not your nose wheel, but put your front end on a blue circle. But clearing customs actually went quite smoothly and we were able to get on our way into some pretty beautiful conditions initially. Now this airplane is obviously very new to me. I mean, it's new to the world. There's only 30 hours on it. In Canada, we're required to fly 25 hours as opposed to the 40 that Americans fly for newly built aircraft. But it was amazing to be rocking this awesome autopilot and achieving ground speeds that were in excess of 200 knots at times. So being the first mission in the airplane and having some significant pressure to actually get there, I wanted to really focus on the mission execution and I definitely made filmmaking a secondary priority. Future mission planning and execution episodes, I'll focus more on sharing the briefings and the thought process and the planning. And in fact, I invite you guys to sort of help me figure out how to do this. I'd really like to figure out a new type of content creation around this format. But for this one, I captured a few good learning moments and of course the arrival into AirVenture is still pretty cool. So let's get into it. An important point to note is that this airplane is not yet IFR certified, so we were limited to VFR only. No question we knew that we were heading toward deteriorating conditions on this mission, and some people that were watching our track on FlightAware had some questions about this particular move. I elected to do a controlled descent 360 instead of point myself straight at a cloud deck that was starting to appear out of the haze that I wanted to get under. During the 25 hour fly off, I learned how easy it is to get fast in this airplane in a descent. I got the 193 true airspeed. Danny is 200. Oh yeah. Mental descending turn here. That's the thing about these airplanes. They're so slippery and fast. You can find yourself bouncing off D and E really, really easily. You do not want to be hit bumpy air when you do that. When you get close to that. Anyway, back on board with Blake, it was becoming clear that the ceiling was continuing to drop. And shout out to Sirius XM data. This was my first time flying with it and having so much solid information made aeronautical decision making easy. We knew the bottom of Lake Michigan here was going to be our trouble spot in terms of conditions. We did not want to track the shoreline being low with the city to our left so we planned on going inland. There were storms there so stopping at Gary, Indiana definitely seemed like the best choice. So that's what we did. We had a little nap and waited out the weather. Two, three, close. Advise on initial contact. You have ADIS information, Julia. All right, should we just ask them for the handoff? Yeah, in a second, are you ready for it? Yep, do you want to take the radios? Or do you want me no, to do I'll do the radios. Okay, I'm going to hand fly from now on. Okay. Come to walk the approach. Uh, Foxtrot Charlie Golf Alpha, I'd like to switch over to uh, Osh Tower. Charlie Foxtrot Charlie Golf Alpha, Roger, 15 miles south of Oshkosh Airport, Roos is the Fermi, it's called VFR, fix your change approved. Right over to Oshkosh, thank you very much for your help. Uh, Foxtrot Charlie Golf Alpha. Hey, here we go. Oshkosh Tower, experimental RV-14, Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Golf Alpha, 1-5 to the south with information Juliet, inbound for landing. Welcome to Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Golf Alpha, Oshkosh Tower. Are you, uh, where are you parking today? 
We're a display aircraft. We'll be parking at the Garmin booth for Foxtrot. Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Golf Alpha. Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Golf Alpha. Right now the wind's zero nine or zero five. Uh, three six good for you, or would you want nine? Sorry, give me the winds again. Zero nine or zero at eight. Uh, yeah, zero nine, please. Charlie Foster, Charlie Golf Alpha Roger, just uh, report about four miles to the uh, south southwest for a right base runway nine. Okay, report uh, four miles to the south for the right base zero nine. Foxtrot, Charlie, Charlie Golf Alpha. So gas is going to put that on. Undercarriage is down. Mixture to go. Prop to go. I can give myself a little bit of braking because I'm going to buck seventy and I'm. 11 miles away, but I don't need to slow down quite yet, but they're giving us a little bit of braking. Uh, switches, I'm secure, you're secure. Yep. Gotta be honest, I'm not super sad that we're not doing the regular arrival. Me either. Yeah, I guess it would have been convenient to land on that runway, but I don't need to take a 9 knot crosswind. Yeah. I don't have to. This is, this is the best runway choice. Yeah. Right straight down the runway. Just gonna start engine braking here, because we are getting close now. Oshkosh Tower, Fox Rock Charlie Golf Alpha is four miles on the uh, right base for zero nine. I'm gonna do a Dutch roll here just to wake my feet up. Yeah. Charlie Fox Rock Charlie Golf Alpha, Roger, just report two miles to the uh, south for a right base. Report uh, two miles, Charlie Fox Rock Charlie Golf Alpha. 39 or Mike Kilo, for initial I need you at 2,300, sir, 500 feet above the pattern altitude. 39 or Mike Kilo. That's a good mixture to go. If you want initial. Okay, we'll do for the 2,300 Alright, thumbs check complete, I'll do one more on final. 1,900 circuit. Charlie Foster, Charlie Golf Alpha, let's have you just take it off to, or make your turn to the northwest just slightly. I got traffic on about a three mile final for nine, you're going to follow behind. Alright, we're turning left there, and I understand number two for zero nine, uh, Charlie Golf Alpha. I don't see him. I mean, either. She said a three mile final, and we're two miles away. Eight hundred Mike Kilo, let's have you um, break at the departure end for a uh, left break. Okay, departure and left break for eight hundred Mike Kilo. How many miles are we now? We're, uh, We're at two. two. He's, she said three, so I mean he's got to be past us by now. Charlie Golf Alpha, let's have you take it straight to the numbers now, sir. Runway nine, you're clear to land. The wind is one two zero at five. All right, clear to land, zero nine, Charlie Golf Alpha. Oh, you didn't get to do a normal circuit after all. <laughs> Perfect. After all that. I, mean, I got flap speed, so flaps coming down, one notch. And if you're going to be at AirVenture this year, please do stop by the Garmin booth to see the airplane. The schedule is in the description that says when I'll be there, but honestly, I'll probably be living there to babysit my baby. And we'll also be giving away a flight in a Vans aircraft at the Vans aircraft booth. And there's also several forums and other events that we're doing, so please do check the schedule, and I hope to see you at AirVenture 2021. Number 93560, Oshkosh Tower. 93560, about 13 miles southwest inbound behind uh, 18026. Here, 93560, Roger, uh, just report uh, four miles to the southwest for a right base runway 9. Report four miles southwest for uh, left base runway 9, 560. Number 560, that'll be for a right base, runway 9. Right base for 560. Beauty. Oh, bounce it. See, that's the RV bounce. If you don't get it perfect, she still does the jiggle jiggle. <laughs> jiggle jiggle. And we had almost no descent when I touched. I'll take it. All right, lean for taxi. And I got to do some zigzags because I cannot see. Nerd, Charlie Fox or Charlie Golf Alpha, where are you parking? Garmin booth, uh, 322. Charlie Golf Alpha, right turn on 13, contact ground off the runway. Weird to be taxing over an X. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call contact ground. ground. Yeah, okay, you got it. Yeah, Oshkosh ground, Charlie Fox Rod, Charlie Golf Alpha. Just uh, turn right onto one ray one three. We are a commercial aircraft display. We're parking at the Garmin booth, booth three twenty two. 
Roger, you can make a right turn on runway 5 to Papa to Papa 2. Right turn on 05 to Papa to Papa 2, Charlie Golf Alpha. Okay, give me a high five. Yeah. Uh, can I imagine this place is full? You've never been here, right? No, first time. Oh, you're going to love it. This is the Mecca. This is absolutely one of the coolest things I've had the privilege of being a part of with Flight Chops. It was amazing to watch the grounds come together in a couple of days. Here's what it looks like when it's full. We are picking the winner for the RV-14 flight here at Vans OSH-19. Okay, here we go, ready? Yeah. Andrew Hemberger. Hey. Hey. And here's a taste of what it feels like to win that flight. We're doing it again this year. You've probably given thousands and thousands of these rides, huh? I have. I've been doing this for 27 years. And wow. I come here every year and do the same thing, just give demo flights for vans. And of course, my day job is I teach people how to fly the right. airplane. So you know, I like people to see the roll capability of oh, yeah. the airplane, which it does very well. And then we always got to have a little fun on a demo flight, oh, yeah, so absolutely. basically I give them a little wing over here or an aerobatic lazy aid, or I pull it up over the top like this, and pretty soon it knows you're going to fall down to the horizon. Nice and easy on the body, everybody likes this, we're not pulling any Gs. <laughs> yeah. Know. Okay, I'm going to give it back to you now. Right. So, let's go ahead and turn left here to start. You like that? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, my forte basically is to teach people how to take off and land these airplanes. Yeah. But I've been doing it for 40 years. Yeah, you gotta have fun with it, don't you? <laughs> I do. So a new era of content creation has begun with Flight Chops and I can't wait to share more mission planning and execution in the RV-14. And if you don't get to see it at AirVenture, don't worry, it'll be at another event soon. Okay, so put the flaps all the way down now and add a little bit of power. We're gonna need some power. Add a little power in. Keep it coming on down. Okay, now we gotta step right road and left wing down. All right, bring us on down, coming on down, on down, down, down. Okay, power to idle now, all the way. So that was exciting, huh? That's fun. <laughs> First time I ever landed in an RV. How'd that go? It was great, it was great. <laughs> awesome, man. So until next time, keep your flight chops sharp. Oh, there's the Garmin booth. Garmin. Right? Oh, we are front and center, dude. Oh, come on. Did you manage to get it? No. <laughs>